Right, so, oh, this is the bottle. So Nathan Heaney will be up against Denzel Bentley in November, just a few weeks' time. Press conference started today. And what I understand, Denzel Bentley, who I will say I've had him on my show before, really great guy, and I really got on with him. However, this time around, he's finding me best mate, so I have to have a bit of favouritism on this one, unfortunately. But for what I understand, just get past this dude, from what I understand, he's uh, been very polite, very courteous, but what I understand is the Queensbury staff. And to be fair, most of the boxing fraternity think that Nathan Heaney has got no chance in this fight. Now, taking friendship, taking, you know, emotions out of it, he believes, Denzel Benley believes he is way past world, le way past British level. He's well into world level. Now, considering the fact he did fight for a world title and did very well. However, not at any point during that fight was he in any way competitive. So, is he world level? Would he beat any other middleweight champion? I'm just not so sure about that, to be honest. Oh, she's got to run over a bit. There we go. No, I'm not so sure. And I think the combination of Nathan Heaney being just known as a ticket seller and the combination of that and of course the combination of Denzel Bentley possibly being talked up a little bit too much um, he can punch and he's a lovely guy and I don't want to and I'm not knocking him, I've got a lot of love for Denzel I think he's a very good fighter and a very very good person however I feel this, this is a, a potentially a a bit of a, a bit of a dodgy situation. Um, I think that Denzel Bentley's massively underrating Heaney. I think that it's mainly down to his last fight against Smith. Um, in his last fight against Smith, Smith, and again, Smith, a friend on you know on social media and things. So no disrespect to Smith. Uh, however, he did look really nervous going into that fight. So is Nathan going to be that? No, he's not. He's been on the big stage. He's been on the big stage for most of his career. So I don't see any reason why he would be as nervous as what Smith was. And I, and I feel maybe just because they look similar in stature that Denzel Bentley thinks that this is just going to be an easy, you know, walk through fight for Heaney. I think that Nathan Heaney in his last fight against Jack Flatley showed that he's has a very very good boxing brain we're talking about a man here who had something like nearly a hundred amateur contests and fought at the highest level midlands area champion he won a, he won uh, gold i believe out in i think it was denmark in the cup over there fought in the hamilton box cup and did well over there beat you know three nations champions he's a very very good fighter he's been in there with some current you know well sort of former world champions now so i think that the difference is going to be between Nathan Heaney being hugely overlooked and Denzel Bentley being, let's just say, very, very favoured. He's a good fighter and again, very, very good guy. And I'll say that forever. He's a lovely, lovely bloke. But I do feel that Nathan Heaney, I'm looking at the odds, Nathan Heaney was four to one to win this fight. 4-1 to one for an unbeaten fighter with a crowd. Now, going on to the crowd and the Stoke crowd, and as you can see me on my bike here, I wanted to try and find a way where I can do my normal daily tasks, but at the same time, keep uploading. So you're attached to my body right now, and we're traveling through Stoke-on-Trent, just about to go onto the canal. And I'm gonna be doing this. If it works and it sounds okay, I've got a mic I might attach to it too. Then I'll be doing this daily talking about boxing and talking about fights now I honestly feel 
that Nathan Heaney at four to one is an absolutely cracking bet. And I'll certainly be taking that bet without any shadow of a doubt. I think that he showed, again, going back to Flatley, Flatley, very, very good operator, four for a European title. Maybe in the low, weight below, you could say, but very, very, very good fighter in itself. And again, another great guy. But at the end of that fight, Nathan Heaney really did show his class. He, we saw a side of Nathan Heaney that we'd never really saw before. And he was boxing the ears really off Jack Flatley. Um, and again, no disrespect to Jack, but he really was, you know, boxing his, his ears off. So, make sure I don't run over here. So, I think that this fight, Nathan Heaney will absolutely need to come through with some adversity. I think that, is there a chance he could get hurt? Yes. Is there a chance he could get stunned? Yes. But, so can Denzel Bentley. And this is coming back to, is Denzel Bentley truly world level? Now, he got stopped by Felix Cash. He got hurt um, against a number of fighters. This guy isn't unbeatable. Um, he, he absolutely can be outboxed. I think Mark Efron did very, very well against him, especially in this, this second fight, he did great, um, until he had that eye injury. So I do feel that, and, and plus Linus Shadofia, Linus Shadofia and Denzel Bentley fought, and I thought Linus Shadofia should have at least got a draw against Denzel Bentley, and he got nothing. So do I think that Nathan Heaney has a chance against this demon of a puncher in Denzel Bentley? Absolutely. I really do, and don't get me wrong, I love the guy, but I really genuinely believe, as a boxing pundit, he does have a real shot at beating him. This and being Stoke on Trent, one of the very few British champions 